Hey, what is up YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I appreciate that. My name is Tobias and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, what I have for you guys is a review of this portable PA speaker by a company called Shidu. Very cool name. And it should include this speaker that you see here on the front of the box and it should include a headset microphone. And just from reading the description here on Amazon, I'll show you guys the page in a second. It looks like this is also going to be a Bluetooth speaker. It should be water, it says waterproof, but I'm assuming it's gonna be at least water resistant. I'm really curious to see if it actually is waterproof. And it says that this is a 25 watt speaker, so I'm pretty curious to try this out, guys. And right before we get into this, I'll just show you guys the Amazon page. I have it up here on my computer real quick, one second. All right, guys, so here's the Amazon page right here. If you look over here, it goes for $79.99, comes with free shipping. And then over here, it has a picture of everything. So like, it looks like that's the speaker right there comes with like a little strap and if you look at the size of the speaker on the body of this like illustration right here it looks like it's actually really small it looks like it's about the size of the guy's hand so that's going to be like a pretty small speaker so yeah we'll see how loud this thing is and then right here that's the microphone that it should come with and i'm going to go ahead and have the link to this amazon page down in the description of this video in case you guys want to check it out for yourself and just really quick guys if you guys like this video or if this video helps you out i would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like that would help me out so much and if you would like to see more videos by me in the future make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that bell notifications button and let's go ahead and get into this as usual i will be doing a quick unboxing followed by a demonstration followed by a a review. Alright guys, here's everything that came inside the box. Of course, we have the user manual, the actual speaker itself, and check it out guys, it is pretty small. It is probably, you know, about the size. It's a bit bigger than the palm of my hand. So very compact. And then up here we have the little strap. Next to that we have the charger. And right below that we have the headset microphone. And in the middle, right here, we have an aux cable. So of course guys, we're gonna have to get this set up, we're gonna have to test it out, and I apologize for the lighting in here. This uh, glass ceiling thing is kind of making some weird shadows. But let's just go ahead and take a closer look at the speaker real quick. If you look at the top right here, it has all the controls. And then if you look on the right hand side, this is going to be where you plug the mic into. If you see right there and then under that that's going to be where you plug the aux cable into well let me just close this up again this is going to be where you plug the uh let me open this up that's where the aux cable will go and having these things closed tightly to create that tight seal is going to be key in whether this speaker gets damaged in water or not same thing with the other side we got the uh we got a little flap right here let's open that up we got the micro SD slot right there, the USB port right there, and the input for the power adapter. And the purpose of the USB port and the micro SD slot is that if you have a USB flash drive or a SD card with music files on it, you could actually plug those in here and the speaker will play the music files. And according to the instructions, the speaker will play the music automatically. All right guys, so I have the speaker charging right now. If you look here, there is a flashing battery symbol, which indicates that the speaker is charging. When the battery is fully charged, it should stop flashing. According to the instructions, it takes three to five hours to fully charge the battery. So I'm probably gonna give it about an hour or so, and that should be good enough for us to at least test it out for a little while. A lot of the time when I test out stuff that needs to be charged, usually when it comes out of the box, there is a little bit of a charge already in the battery. So I'll be back in about an hour and we'll see where it's at. All right guys, so I left the speaker charging for around 40 minutes and it's already 100% charged. The battery symbol is not flashing anymore, so let's go ahead and unplug it and close this thing up right here. Make sure it's sealed tight because we are gonna do the waterproof test. 
I also forgot to mention earlier guys, with the microphone, you can actually record audio with the microphone if you have a micro SD card or a USB flash drive plugged into the speaker. All right guys, now let's go ahead and connect my phone to the speaker via Bluetooth. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the speaker on. is waiting for a connection. All right guys, so if you look at the bottom of my screen, M900, that should be the speaker. Bluetooth is connected. All right. All right guys, next I'm just going to try to play some music. The next and previous buttons, if you long hold those, those should um increase the volume. Oh. Just like I'm playing a Nintendo Don't trust nobody, ain't nobody that can save me yet. Take that Bacardi 151 straight to my face like Alright guys, I can say the uh, the audio quality sounds pretty good It actually sounds really good Let me turn it down a little bit But yeah, it sounds pretty good I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with the uh, quality of the audio all right, guys, so I turned the audio all the way up. I'm going to set the speaker on this table right here. I'm going to play the music on my phone. The speaker's on that table back there. Here we go. My phone all the way up. It's pretty loud. That's loud. For a tiny speaker? Wow. <laughs> Guys, for a tiny speaker roughly the size of my hand, that is loud. That is loud, guys. Now let's go ahead and test out the microphone. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and plug the microphone into the speaker. Mic input. All right, guys, that was my mistake. I forgot I had the volume all the way up. Don't do what I just did. Make sure you turn the volume down before you plug the microphone in. All right, microphone's plugged in. Let's go ahead and put it on my head. Dang. I'm like Britney Spears. I'm gonna slowly turn the volume up. Check, 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 check. All right, oh, we're just trying to get some audio. Let's turn it up a little bit more. Check, check, oh, nice. Guys, this is awesome. Okay, how am I looking? I don't wanna pull out the microphone. Oop, my phone's still playing music, I gotta stop it. You could have music playing and um, speak it through the microphone at the same time. Um, oh, let me put on this little, this little thing right here. This is tight. Nice. All right. That's what's up, guys. Look at that. Dang. All right. Look at that, guys. All right. Now we'll do the same thing. We'll do the, uh, what's it called? The distance test again. I'm going to go far away. I'm going to set up my camera, and I'm going to walk away from it, see how loud it is. All right, guys. Let's do this. I'm going to walk down here. I'm going to turn the volume up as I walk away. All right, how loud are we getting? Don't wanna, don't wanna feedback. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. All right, this is maximum volume. Um, getting a little bit of feedback, it's a little too loud. Check, check. All right, that's a pretty comfortable, around 26. That seems to be the sweet spot, and it's pretty loud. Check, check, audio check. All right, guys, so, so far, so good. We're going to do the waterproof test in a minute. I just want to say so far the audio quality seems really good. Volume levels, this little speaker can get really loud. The microphone seemed pretty good. And remember the price of $80. This costs $80 on Amazon. Remember, I'll have a link in the description below. But it's always a good idea to keep the price in mind when reviewing products. Just so mentally you can decide for yourself whether it's worth the price or not. And one thing that this kind of reminded me of, guys, is like if you're having a party or something. You know parties where like there might be games involved? For example, a baby shower. You know how they have all those baby showers? games and you have someone that's running the game and they have to talk over everyone else's voices this would be perfect for something like that because they could just wear this speaker thing and have the microphone on and be like all right time's up time's up or you know explain the rules of the game or whatever i think it would be perfect for that kind of like party situation so anyways guys let's go ahead and test out whether this thing is actually waterproof or not all right guys so now we're going to test out whether the speaker is waterproof or not
Alright guys, looks like it is. Alright guys, so immediately after coming out of the pool, everything seemed fine. The speaker seemed to be working perfectly fine. I went ahead and turned the speaker off. Probably around three to five minutes later, I tried turning it back on. The speaker would not turn back on. I left the speaker out for a while to dry, and it seems to be uh, completely dry now. And now when I try to turn it on, let me see if you guys can see this. Well, it's not doing it right now, but a second ago, when I was trying to turn it on, it was giving me the flashing battery signal, which makes me think that that's probably what it does when the battery is out or the battery is low. So that's probably the speaker telling me I need to charge it. But as you guys saw, I completely charged the battery right before we did that waterproof test. So I'm starting to think that this speaker isn't actually waterproof, even although it is advertised as being waterproof on the Amazon page. So I'm really curious to see what would happen if I plugged it back in to charge. I might wait a little bit to do that just because I don't want something crazy to happen if I plug it in, like I don't want the, I don't know, I don't know what would happen. So originally I was like really stoked on this speaker. I thought, whoa, this speaker's so awesome. It's small, it's portable, it's waterproof. It costs $80. Now I'm thinking more along the lines of $80 is way too much for this if it isn't waterproof. I would say, imagine if they knocked the price down from $80 to maybe around $30, then I would think that it would probably be worth it just as a regular Bluetooth speaker. You know, you can't take it in the water, but it comes with the microphone. It's still cool. It's like, you know, you just can't have it in your water. That's fine. But of course, like, you know, it would have to be priced way lower. I think $80 is just way too expensive for the speaker. I have done reviews of two other portable PA speakers, kind of like this, that come with microphones, except they're not headset microphones. They're actually just regular um, handheld microphones. If you want to check those out, I'll have them linked down in the description of this video. I did this one by this company called Archier. That system is a little bit less expensive. Expensive. Let me show you what it looks like. This is the actual speaker right here. It goes for $65.99 on Amazon. You know, this one, you know, I still think it's cool, but I just think like $80 is too expensive for it. Um, if it's not going to be waterproof like it says it's supposed to be. Luckily, I didn't pay for this myself. I got this for free to do the review on it because if I did pay for this, I would be pretty upset that it's not working now. I'm going to go ahead and open these flaps because, you know, oh yeah, check that out. There's totally water inside. Yeah, these things are not waterproof. It's dry on this side for the most part. The other side is dry, but this side right here where the USB is and the charging port, if you guys could see right there, it's totally wet. And I was very sure to have these securely closed because that's the first thing I thought of. I was like, for this to be waterproof, these have to be like, you know, securely fastened and water totally got in there. Just to the naked eye, you would think that that would be waterproof. So if you buy one of these, definitely do not take it in the water. So anyways, guys, that is my review of the Shidu um, portable PA speaker, Bluetooth speaker, whatever you want to call it. So anyways, guys, if you guys like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notifications button, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.